So now that you've heard about the restructuring, what I want to share with you is the role that Essex County College will play in that restructuring. Oh, can you hear me better now? Okay. Um, Essex County College is one of the 19 county colleges in the state of New Jersey. It is also the college that transfers the largest number of associate degree students to NJIT and also to workers. So with just that fact alone, we, we have some uh, dual challenges. You heard Dr. Howard mention remedial education. So the students who are coming from high school and they're applying to our open access public institution, which means open access means we take everyone. We deal with an issue of remediation, trying to get our students ready, college ready. We spend millions of dollars a year at Essex on developmental remedial education. So that's one challenge that we face. So we're trying to be more creative in addressing that challenge and working with the high schools, partnering with the high schools earlier so that we can get those students probably test those students on the Accuplacer standardized assessment exam so that we can find out where they score and work with them while they're in high school so that by the time they enter Essex that they're already either at college readiness or they at score a higher score than they normally would have scored. So that's one challenge. Another challenge is that when they are at Essex, trying to get them to complete their degree, trying to retain them and get them to complete their degree within the state, well, the national uh, metric says within three years. So how do we do that if they're reading, writing, calculating math on a sixth, seventh, eighth grade level? That's another huge challenge. So we have to get creative in how we offer or courses to our students. So if they enter in the summer, We'll have a summer one program, a summer two program, then they'll take classes in the fall, and then we've also built in what we call a winter intercession program. It's a two, three week program where students can take classes during that three week period. It's highly intensive, four days a week, four hours a day, and then they complete the winter intercession and move on to the spring semester. What we're trying to do is get our students college ready as soon as we can so that they can complete in three years. That also has an effect on financial aid. We don't want our students to utilize all of their financial aid before moving on to a Rutgers or to a Montclair because then they'll only have a year left of the New Jersey is tag, not tag, but tag, tag. Actually, have a couple years. They'll have a couple years. Right, 10 semesters, so we, that's like five years. So we don't want them to base their financial aid in the county college on remedial courses, and then by the time they transfer to a four-year institution, then they run out of a part of that aid. So we are getting very creative and um, seeking opportunities to partner with the high schools, form relationships with the four-year institutions. We are part of the Rutgers Future Scholars, um, and other four-year institutions like articulation agreements with certain programs. There's a New Jersey State bill, it's called the Lambert Bill, and once you complete, complete an associate degree at one of the county colleges, then it's like full faith and credit when you move to a four-year institution, then you'll finish up the remaining two years. So within the county college, we're trying to find creative ways so that we can assist our students to become college ready, save their financial aid, uh, provide them with prob uh, joint admissions, joint programs, so that they can then move on and be successful. One other area that I would like to touch on is um, one of the most recent opportunities at Essex County College. I think I the Courtney mentioned the bonds, or Dr. Howard mentioned the bonds, and the New Jersey Higher Education bonds. Essex County College received the largest amount of bond monies in, out of all of the county colleges, almost $20 million. And we have five major projects, and one of those projects will help in terms of access and ensuring that our students are college ready so that they can be successful. And that's the first year experience project. We're developing the first year experience program which will focus on just remediation 
and getting our students college ready and providing the necessary support services so our students can be college ready. As an open access, we have students who come with a variety of socioeconomic problems, academic issues, and they need what we consider wraparound services. They need child care, they need um, um, additional tutoring, supplemental tutoring. Right now as we speak, we actually recently built tutorial labs that uh, provide computer assisted instruction um, so that our students, they go to the classroom, they'll get the lecture, and then they're mandated, and we change that. Previously, it was, okay, I have tutoring, do I go, do I not go? No, we've recently mandated that our students attend tutoring in these new labs. We spent almost a million dollars, and they'll be finished by October 1st. So again, we're trying to find ways so that our students can be academically successful. And with this bond money, it will present plenty of opportunities for our small business owners and our minority um, agencies, uh, businesses, to actually have an opportunity to bid for some of those projects so that we are actually affecting the community, not only within the academic framework, but within the, the, the business economic development framework. So we are trying to increase academic success. We're trying to partner with the high schools. We're trying to reach out to the community because the community colleges, they should mirror the community of where they exist. That's the reason why they were created. So we have a whole host of strategies to increase student success and we're measuring um, all of these areas so that we can define what works and what doesn't work. Uh, we're also looking at new degree programs. We're looking at an associate's degree in pre-pharmacy, and hopefully that degree will lend itself to students transferring to a Rutgers to their four-year degree pharmaceutical program or a Fairleigh Dickinson pharmaceutical program. So um, I will take questions at the end, but I want you to know that Essex County College is a pathway it is a pipeline to students who may not be able to get admissions into a Rutgers or Montclair, um, that they can use that as a, a, a vehicle to getting there. We have students who actually enter Essex and do not speak English. We have a whole host of ESL students. So we have this dual challenge of remedial, developmental, but also college readiness and then transfer. Um, so, there's so much that we're doing and, 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 and so many challenges that we're faced with, but there are also a number of opportunities. We're partnering with um, private corporations. We're partnering with McGraw-Hill, Pearson, uh, challenge for some of our students' textbooks course and technology. And we're trying to partner with these corporations so that we can provide online supplements, computer-assisted supplements and um, to lower the cost of the textbooks. Some of the textbooks cost $200, $300, especially in the sciences and the math. So we do have a number of challenges, but we're also using the opportunities to confront those challenges. And I'll look forward to questions at the end.